In this video, we'll learn to write the electron configurations for ions. This is a key skill in chemistry. First off, we need to know what an ion looks like, how to identify an ion compared to a neutral atom. So on the periodic table, all the elements, they're listed as neutral. There's no negative or positive. Ions, they're going to have this positive or negative superscript after them. So that's how you know that it's an ion. Neutral atoms, they don't have a charge like the ions, which have positive or negative charges. And in a neutral atom, the number of protons in the nucleus, that equals the electron. That's why there's no charge. We have positive and negative. They balance out no charge. But for ions, the protons don't equal the electrons. And because of that, we end up with a positive or negative charge. So let's try this. So I have the electron configuration for neutral sodium and then the sodium cation. I also have neutral chlorine and then the chloride anion. Pause, look at the patterns, and then fill in the blank here for each of these. So the superscripts, those are electrons. So we have 3s1, that's the third energy level with one electron, but it's gone here. So when we form a positive ion, we've lost an electron. So we've lost an electron. That means we've lost the negative charge, becomes positive. Here for chlorine, we had 3p5, but now we have 3p6. So we've gained an electron. Think of it this way. Electrons are negative. So if you gain electrons, you get a negative charge. You become an anion. So pause and write the electron configuration for the calcium cation and the oxide anion. So remember, calcium here is neutral, but it'll lose electrons to become positive. And since we have a two plus here, these are the ones it's gonna lose. We'll end up with this. So this is the electron configuration for Ca2 plus. We've lost these two valence electrons. For oxygen, we're gonna gain two. We've gained two because we have the two minus. When we do that, instead of 2B4, we'll have 2P6. That'll look like this. So let's look at this visually to really understand what's going on. So sodium has one valence electron. That's that 3s1. It loses that valence electron to the chlorine. So when it loses that 3s1, it has the next energy level below it full. It becomes a positive ion because it's lost that electron. The chlorine, it only needs one more electron to fill that outer shell to get that 3p5 to 3p6. When it gains the electron, it becomes a negative ion, an anion, and its outer shell is full as well. If we look at the electron configuration now of this Na+, the sodium cation, we see that it's the same electron configuration as this noble gas, neon. That is very stable. So the sodium formed this one plus ion to have the same stable configuration, electron configuration, as neon. When chlorine gained that electron, it became just like argon, the same electron configuration. Argon is a noble gas and it's very stable. So it's all about stability. Electrons are gained and lost to achieve these noble gas electron configurations. Let's do a little bit more practice. So pause and write the electron configuration for the aluminum cation, Al3+, and then the nitride anion, N3-. So aluminum's a little bit tricky. We have this 3s1 but the three also includes this 3s2. So we need to lose all of these to form the aluminum three plus. Two plus one, that's three. So we have to lose all three. That'll look like this. So again, we have the same electron configuration as a noble gas, as neon here. So aluminum, it loses three, its highest energy level, to get this full outer shell in the second energy level. For nitrogen, we need to gain these three electrons, these three valence electrons, to get that noble gas configuration. That'll look like this. So for nitrogen, to get this second energy level full, we need three more. So we add three more, we have a three negative ionic charge, and we end up with the same electron configuration as a noble gas. So to wrap up, we have our neutral atoms, and they can become ions by gaining or losing electrons. Ions could gain or lose electrons to become neutral again as well. Atoms form ions with particular charges like 2 plus or 3 minus in order to have an electron configuration like a noble gas. When they do this, they become more stable. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for ions. 
Thanks for watching.